Hello, this is Roland. Today I want to talk about uh, something I've seen lately quite a bit. People are Google, Googling, Google searching, and it's uh, my husband ignores me. My husband ignores me. Okay, so maybe a good way to start would be by talking to the men. Men, don't ignore your wife. Okay. Now, what are the most likely reasons why a man um, is ignoring his wife? The most likely reasons are that he's not able to handle the communication interactions uh, with her. For example, um, he's angry, okay, and because he's angry, he's afraid that anger will come out. So he just clams up and goes out in the garage to work or something like that. Another likely reason is that um, um, she's angry at him for some reason. Okay? Or she's unhappy with him, which means she's angry or resentful toward him. And if, any, if when communication starts, then the dam breaks, and then a whole bunch of stuff comes out. In other words, she throws everything at him but the kitchen sink, as the old expression goes. You don't talk to me. You don't communicate with me. You don't do this. You don't help me. I'm stuck with the kids. I got all the responsibility. When, I, when you come home, you don't do this, and you don't that, and your mother does this, and uh, on Saturday, you don't do that, and on Sunday, we should do this, and you're supposed to do this with me. And the, See? So he's afraid to start talking to her because that's what's going to happen. Okay, another reason is that whenever communication begins, um, even if she's not angry, then she goes on and on and on and on. And his being a man, his communication style is a little different. With men, it's more like, yep, nope, okay. Uh, men are more like, yep, nope, solve their problem and they think it's solved and then they don't want to talk about it anymore whereas the lady wants to talk okay so there's a little difference there another reason okay so you see those are the main reasons so men here's what you do number one don't be resent don't resent your wife okay don't resent your wife learn to be with your wife okay and um, don't be angry with her either so you need to kind of go back to basics. You need to get my book, The Myths and Mysteries of Marriage, and read it. Then you need to watch a couple of my videos, um, especially the ones on how to forgive and forget, um, dealing with anger, and also how to speak up for yourself. Okay? So you have to learn how to uh, speak up. Okay? but not in an angry way, with a twinkle in your eye. So your wife and your kids, they want you to be involved with them. How many kids, they, grown up, adult children say, my father wasn't there for me. Okay, so you need to be there for them. Okay, now the other thing you have to, so watch some of my videos, read my book, so you can see what's required of a man, and then practice. Not being resentful. Okay, practice being with your wife and not being resentful. Okay, talking to her. Okay, and don't try to win the argument. Okay, there, it's okay to have a spirited debate. I talk about that in some of my videos. You have to look for it. It's okay to have a spirit, and in my book, it's okay to have a spirited debate. Okay, but when it's all over, what's right wins. If you're right, okay, then. You state your point, hold your ground. Okay, don't get, don't continue, don't continue to argue over something. Just state your point simply. Okay, what's right is right. Other times, however, she's right. Okay, she's right about something, and if she's right, then admit it. Admit it. Okay, so when it's all over, what's right wins. Okay. So uh, the other thing too is. Um, um, uh, your wife is involved with you. Okay, your kids are involved with you. So you have to be there for them. You have to be there. Okay. 
And if she's angry at you for something, then let her, let her speak her piece. Let her say, let, you know, let her say what she has to say. And in my home, you know, my, my wife and my son, they speak. They're, they're not afraid to say, especially my wife. She doesn't hesitate to speak her mind. Okay. Do I always enjoy it? No. Is she always right? No. Is she sometimes wrong? Yes. Does she go overboard a lot of times? Yes. Is she sometimes immature? Yes. Okay. You have to learn, but just don't get angry. Okay. Just don't be angry. Don't be resentful. That's important. Watch out for anger and watch out for resentment. Those are the things that will hurt you more than anything, especially resentment. Okay, especially resentment. Now, um, that doesn't mean that everything has to be lovey-dovey and talking constantly, you know, all the time. See, a lot of times, see, the, the, uh, the lady, often she'll have her, her uh, girlfriends or other people that she can talk with a lot, okay? She doesn't need to talk to you all the time. But it seems like she does because you put up some kind of a barrier there. And she's trying to get through it. Okay? She might even, you know, yell at you or do something um, naughty or irritating because she just wants to, wants to get you to communicate with her. Okay? So communicate. Be there. Okay? Then once she... See, she needs to know that you that you love her and that you cherish her as a person. Okay, you got to get my book. Um, you may need uh, to do a little bit of basic boot camp, a little bit of basic training. Chances are you have the wrong idea about what marriage is. Okay, so once she knows that you you're there for her, she, she can trust you, that you care about her, and so on and so forth. Okay then she won't be always trying to get through the barrier. Now, a lot of ladies also, you haven't had that special love. See, what you've done is you, you, when you married her, you married her because she supports your ego, okay? So in a sense, you've been using her for that, okay? So now you have to see that as the years go by, you have to become more fatherly, see? You have to find a, inter, an invisible means of support, an invisible support from, actually from, from God, actually, eventually. You have to find the inner, but we'll just say an inner ground of support. See, like the captain of the ship, for example. The captain of the ship, a lot of times, you could say it's a lonely job. He can't be, if he starts going to the second in command, third in command, some of the other guys starts talking to them, then he's going to turn them into into enablers. He's going to turn them into his support and then you'll become dependent on them. A lot of times he has to be um, uh, is, um, alone. Okay? Look to no one for support because he's the captain of the ship. So don't look to your wife for love. You, you, you give love. You have love by not needing love. See what I mean? Don't Look to others for, for love because if you do and you become dependent on them, eventually you'll find out you, that, you become, that, you, that you become weak, you become a people pleaser, that you need their approval. See you, see what I mean? So you have to be um, um, the captain of the ship. So, how c so you have to be able to do that and, and still be there for them. In other words, be fun to be around. You're the captain of a ship. Ultimately, you're in charge, okay, of the ship. But you can be fun to be around, see? You can have a twinkle in your eye and be lighthearted and cheerful, okay? Just kind of be there, okay? Just be there. Lighthearted, cheerful, steady, always there, see? And don't look for gratitude. Don't look for um, um, appreciation. Don't look for anything. Just be there. Do your duty. Okay? Then the rewards will come. Okay? Now, ladies, um, if he communicates with you, that's great. If he doesn't, see, then that's not so good. But, on the other hand, I will say this. Number one, don't resent him. 
Okay, that's your number one line of defense. Don't resent your husband. Okay, because then you can still be okay. See, resentment will make will is a stress on you. Resentment will make you unhappy, depressed, bitter, miserable. See? Don't resent it. Okay? Don't resent your husband. That's very important. And don't and don't judge him. If he makes a, if he's in error over something, then see that he's in error. Speak up about it. Okay? But don't resent him. That's the secret. Okay? Now it is possible. See, what you're looking for is a special love from him. You that's what you're trying to get from him. A special love. Okay? But he right now he may not have it. Okay. That's so he doesn't have it. He needs to find himself. He needs to become like I was saying earlier, right? The captain of the ship has to become more fatherly, has to grow in stature and gr in grace as the years go by. Maybe he can. Hey, you don't know. Right now you think, oh, he can't. But maybe he can. You don't know. See? So you just have to give him a little space. Don't be too hard on him. It's okay to speak up for yourself, though. You have to speak up for yourself. But, I mean, don't give him an unnecessarily hard time for no reason. Okay? Now, communication styles are a little different. A lot of times when men come home, they need to just sit in a chair and sit there at the TV. Okay, or read read the newspaper or watch TV. The, the, that's how the man recoups. That's how the man um, unwinds, decompresses. Then later, he's good to talk, you know, to talk to and so on. So, a lot of times, ladies, especially if you've been home all day, as soon as he comes home, you want to talk to him, right? Because that's how you unwind. That's how you recoup. That's how you decompress and process what happened is by talking to him about it. But he needs to have some time just to sit around and look at the TV. It's okay, so that's the way he's wired. Okay, so just bear that in mind. You men bear in, wi in mind that your wife needs to talk when you come home. Okay, so just bear that in mind. So you, you know, you talk a little bit, rest a little bit, you men. Ladies, talk a little bit, give him a little time to rest. See what I mean? Just work, work it out. Real, uh, just know that there's that little difference there in, in uh, needs, okay? Especially when coming home from work. So just, um, um, you know, main thing is don't resent your, your husband. You know, when you're first married, the first few years, a lot of times, it's like every little thing you want to spend every little moment together, you know. But as the years go by, ladies, years go by, 10, 20 years later, you may welcome him <laughs> if he's hanging around the house all the time. You may be well, very much welcome him going away to work. I mean, you know, to work or to play golf or to do something, right? So you can have a little time for yourself. See what I mean? So things change. Things are always changing. So depression, upset, unhappiness, all those things have a lot to do with resentment. So your first line of defense, like I said, is don't resent him. Don't resent your husband. Okay? My name is Roland.